Hey guys, so here I am playing Minecraft Education Edition and I've got my good friend Dan on the line. Hey Dan, how are you? Hi, very well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good, mate. Where about yes. in this wide world are you? Uh, I'm in Australia at the minute, even though my accent's Welsh. I'm in Australia, sitting in Sydney. Brilliant. So I'm sitting in Christchurch, New Zealand at home, so we're definitely not sharing the same internet connection right now. No, You're I'm at home as well. You. Yeah, perfect. So what we're going to show you is how you could use Minecraft Education Edition for remote learning uh, using join code. So this is pretty exciting. This has somehow slipped past my radar, but let's get straight into it. Here I go with um, play and I could create a new world. Uh, I can come to my <coughs> I want to have blocks oh. of grass. I'm going to choose to host this world. And it's building out the world now. And what I will see shortly is uh, my join code. So this is what I'm going to provide to uh, Dan. And then he's going to share his screen and show us how he will be able to join super easy over the internet into my hosted world. So if I want to find my join code, I hit escape. Here it is here. So Dan, you might need to write this one down, mate. Kate, yep. Apple, Apple, Alex. Cake, apple. Now notice apple, here apple. that it says here's my uh, here's my IP address. That's my internal IP address, but the join code is going to link this with my external internet facing IP address. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get back into the game. And Dan, if you uh, perhaps start sharing your screen, uh, we will be able to see the experience from your end. Eh? Okay, so I'm in the main menu of Minecraft. I'm going to click on play. Um, now I'm going to join the world, and now I've got to remember our uh, symbol service cake, apple, apple, and then, oh, what was the fourth one? Alex. Cake, apple, apple, and Alex. Yeah, that's right. Let's try this, see what happens. Yes, hey. it is. Tell me which found Let's confirm that. Name. Found my Simple name, so you've got some assurance there. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, I know it's you. You know it's me, and let's see yeah. if you join in the world and see if you can find me in this great big world of blocks of grass. Theo has joined the world. Hey, look behind you, buddy. No way. Where are you? Oh, wow. Fantastic. Hi. Hey, How are you doing? I'm good. So you're playing Minecraft Education Edition. You're at home in Sydney, Australia. I'm at home in Christchurch, New Zealand, and we're successfully connected across the internet and... We could ask our friends from our school if we were doing remote learning to get in here and start playing with us as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. What a great, great opportunity for students across the world. Yeah. Yeah, love it, love it. Now, the thing Thanks to remember, of course, yep. is if I close the world and I'm hosting it, then all yeah, of my so friends happen. will be, yeah, they'll all be dropped out of the world. So you do want to make sure that the person hosting the world uh, communicates clearly when they've had enough and it's time to do some other learning. Um, and they save the world to their device. But this cross internet play with join codes is very, very easy as you've just seen. Cool. Awesome. Well, let's wave goodbye and uh, we will hopefully uh, get lots of students at this time of remote learning uh, jumping into Minecraft and having some fun. Fantastic. Thanks, Sam. All right. Thanks, Dan, for joining on the call.